welcome to Fountain FX on Wednesday the 5th of March 2014. If we look today at the news, we've got some major news coming out at uh, 3.15 and 5 o'clock on the US dollar. Uh, Non-farm employment change, that's the ADP version of it, not the uh, official version which comes out on Friday. And ISM non-manufacturing PMI. So we're looking to what's going to happen here. Uh, forecast is uh, redu reduction from uh, last month, so but they're still predicting 159,000 new jobs in America. So hopefully that's going to be positive news. We would like to see that figure above that for the short of the euro US dollar to continue. And um, similar thing here with the ISM non manufacturing, it would be good to see that above the uh, either the same or above the 53.8. So watch the uh, news today and see what happens. I'll uh, quickly flick over to some other headlines. The only real uh, headline came from yesterday, which is basically the dollar is showing strength against the yen. Um, obviously this week we've had the concerns over the Ukraine and Russia. If we go and look at the chart. So looking at this, we can see that um, the downward momentum is continuing if we look at the MACD. There's a serious decline. We're hardly, we're almost about to cross over the zero line. And based on the lows of the two previous days, I've drawn this line here, which also coincides with the high here, and previous lows, etc., and the low there. So it seems to be uh, recently a common price at around about the 137.20 uh, as an area of support. But what we can we see is we see we had a massive. Um, candle move upwards into this area of resistance and price then promptly fell almost all the way back down. Following day we had price push back up but a lot of sellers have come in so we can see there's a long wick there so we can see there's a large amount of selling pressure coming in and price today has opened and just pushed down. So um, people will be waiting for the news at 3.30 and 5 o'clock to see uh, if there's any signs of weakness in the dollar, otherwise price is probably going to continue down. Uh, if you want to look at how to get in on this trade, we need to go into a smaller time frame. And if we take a look here, we can see that uh, in the early mornings with the Asian market, well, there's not a lot of volatility, very, very much low volatility prices moves up and down. We can see that this area of resistance was honoured this morning, price rallied up to it quite substantially and it went from the 137.30 all the way up to the 137.40 and it's turned and now you can see the level of pressure that's pushing down, the selling that's coming in. Key thing is, is whether or not it's going to break this area of support at the 137.20, uh, 137.22, it would be good to see if that does hold or not. And once that is broken, we would then look to take pullbacks to the 137.20 to continue in the downtrend. And if we switch back over to the news or the economic news, we can see that on Friday this week, uh, the most important data that comes out in the month for the U.S. economy is the non-farm employment change data, often referred to as non-farm payroll. And that's really the amount of jobs that have been created or lost in the U.S. economy in the previous month. Um, outside of the farming community, which probably accounts for um, around about 95 to 98 percent of uh, the, the uh, jobs in the US. Uh, also, we're looking at the trade balance and then also the unemployment rate will be going with there. So, we want to see an increase in jobs and the non farm employment change. We want to see unemployment rate either stay the same or go down, and we certainly want the trade balance to be reduced uh, in terms of the deficit of 39 billion dollars for the last month so we would like to see that come down all of that to confirm uh, strength in the US economy and therefore to be able to see strength in the US dollar and uh, we would then expect uh, the, the falling of the euro against the US dollar to then continue down so and we can take opportunity or take profit as price falls that's really what we're looking for by the end of this week um, and that's it from Fountain FX happy trading and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.